What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host through the most tomboy double and crushing tomboy TV. Welcome back. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell right now, but I'm a little bit sick. I'm a little bit stuffy because, you know, New Year's got the best of me and I'm not feeling that great at the moment, but I'm still out here. I know I took a break for two days. I'm not posting any content and I regret that and I apologize, but you know, it's New Year, New Me, you know what they say. Uh, so we're back at it and today we're talking about the top 10 best sneaker releases of 2018. Now, I know 2018 is already over. We're all looking forward to 2019. It's going to be a great ass year. It's going to be like... It's going to be insane, you know, we're going to keep grinding, we're going to keep pushing it and keep working harder than we ever have before. But I did want to shed some light on 2018 because it was one of the greatest sneaker years that I can, uh, that I've honestly lived through, that I've actually experienced because, you know, when I was younger, I was into sneakers until I was around like 11-ish, 12-ish. So now I honestly can say 2018 was probably one of the best ones uh, with the sneaker releases that they've done. The collabs have been crazy, a lot of stuff. Now this video is only about sneaker releases that I have not purchased. These are sneakers that I wish I could have caught, my grails. Shit, I took a big L on, you know, and they're mainly Nikes because, you know, I'm a Nike boy. I'm not a big fan of Adidas. I don't know much about Adidas. Like, I do know stuff about Adidas, but, you know, your boy is just not that into it because it's Adidas and not Nike. But anyways, we do have a, we do actually might have, yeah, we do have one pair of Adidas in this uh, list. Uh, the rest of them are not Adidas. They're mainly Nikes and they're, of course, collaborations with different brands. But, however, tomorrow I'll be dropping a video about sneakers, the top 10 sneakers that I've purchased. And just know that they're crazy and the estimated value of these sneakers are pretty great. And I'm, I'm just grateful that. I was able to cop all these sneakers and there as you guys you guys have always seen them throughout the channel uh throughout my background and everything so you guys do know some of them what they are but other ones are stored away so you guys will see what that is anyways i do have the list on my phone so that's what i'll be going off of i was working on this list for actually mad long because it was very hard so uh, 2018 as i said was insane out of all the Jordan retros that dropped, I, I saw a fact it would cost about $32,000 to cop every single one, which is absolutely insane. But I know there were hella ones. It was like the year of Jordan once, to be honest. It was all about Jordan once and nothing else. But anyways, we're going to head into it. Off my list, we're going to go from spot 10 to 1. So this is the top 10 sneaker releases of 2018. First up, we're going to go at number 10 is the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 1s. The reason being why, and also, by the way, this list is if I could get every sneaker, basically what I'm going off of, if I could get any sneaker for free, this is the top 10 sneakers I would get for myself personally, not based on resale value, none of that, basically what I want for myself to, you know, rock on the daily. As I said, we got the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 1s. Reason being is because I love where this concept came from, you know, Nigel Sylvester is a great BMX rider, he'd be riding his bike like crazy, especially his videos, his videos are something I aspire to one day be able to to edit and make anyways that's besides the fact but what i like is because he basically took what i think were shadow ones he gave it to nike he was like listen nike can you please put this on a sneaker of an all-white jordan one like a sale it's basically the sale colorway of the jordan one and they were like yeah let's get it they put the scuff marks on it yelled it up exactly how it was looked on nigel's feet from riding his bike and they just went with it and it was actually going for 500 dollars at first slowly the resale prices went down but you know this is not about resale prices and that's the main reason why i cop and of course it was an exclusive type event that it was releasing at, especially at Kith, it was very exclusive raffles, and I, your boy did not win, you know, your boy ended up taking more L's at the second half of 2018, that's why a lot of these sneakers are from the second half of 2018, because that's when your boys start losing out on luck, but number 9, we come at the Nike React Element 87s, only the solid colorway, now I know what you guys are going to say, yo, this is kind of whack now, because now they're kind of whack, I might agree, because what Nike basically did is what they did with the Roshi runs, the Roshi ones, they basically took it, we're like, yo, this is an easy silhouette we could produce masked colors of, Let's just run, send it and just make a shit ton of colors. And that's basically what they've been doing. And now, unfortunately, they're basically sitting like Roshi's used to on at finish line, at full locker, at all these sites, and even on the Nike app. So this is why the sub colorway is my favorite. Also, the little see-through element. It's I'm kind of vibing with it now that the statics were somewhat see-through. The converses are somewhat see-through. Honestly, I would rock this one pair of sneakers see-through would be kind of dope. Next up at number eight, we go into the Nike Concepts SB Purple Lobster and Green Lobster. Now, I know they're de technically two different sneakers, but they're the same silhouette, two different colors, and I would love to have both. But honestly, if I had to choose for one, it would be the Purple Lobsters. And the reason being is because the Purple Purple just it goes great with a lot of shit lately especially a lot of accessories that supreme has dropped because you know i'm a supreme head and i do have a lot of purple bags and purple shirts and a lot of that stuff because supreme has been releasing a lot of purple stuff so i think it would go great with this type of sneaker and also just in such an exclusive freaking shoe that i was so close to getting so 
especially the green ones, because what happened is at Concepts, they had a first come first serve event, which is basically who Nike collaborated with on the shoe. And I was so close to getting out there. And then my plans ended up getting canceled in the city. And you know, it was still hectic out there though. I'm not even sure if I would be able to guarantee myself a pair. I did heard they did have a good amount of pairs going out there because that's the only place that they released. So far, they might have some random release somewhere else. But anyway, stay tuned for some Nike SB releases because Nike's coming back out with them like crazy. Of course, that's major credit to Travis Scott because he started bringing them back more out and out and posting it on Instagram, which a lot of people got more curious about. So now leads us into number seven, which is Adidas 700 Mavoy, Mavoy, uh, whatever the hell you guys want to call it. It's the all black 700, not the Wave Runner, though. I'm not a huge fan of the Wave Runners, to be honest. A lot of people beg to differ that they like the Wave Runners way more than the all black ones. And I'm like, nah, not really for myself, because all of the apparel that I do be rocking, as you can see, it's black up here. I do wear a lot of black stuff, you know, it's somewhat an issue i guess i do have a lot of different colors though just black is the easiest to rock most simple you know when i'm feeling lazy i just put on a black 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 and it just fits well of course not the pants so i don't be wearing a full black outfit because you know i'm not that type but anyways i would think of these would be a nice uh, shoe for me to personally rock i did not cut them myself Mainly because they are $300 retail themselves. The resale, it's not that much. I could cop them myself basically for retail if I wanted to at the moment. However, I just am not in the mood to be spending $300 on a pair of shoes like that. So next up, move on to the Nike Sean Witherspoon 97 once. Now, I did actually end up copying these sneakers. As I said before, I know I said that I wasn't going to put these on here. The, on shoes that I previously copped. However, I was like, you know, they gotta be on the list. The shots are crazy. They are overrated. I am gonna say that. They are a bit overrated of what they actually are because the sneaker, everyone basically has them now. Not everyone, but a lot of people do, especially if the rumored restocks keep happening. But anyways, these shots are crazy. He came out with an all-new concept corridor all over. Different colorways, bright, makes you, like, happy. That palette colorway is just crazy. And it's definitely a necessity for everyone's wardrobe because it goes with almost a lot of different stuff. No matter what color you have, any color on the sneaker you're basically going to be set and i just think it's a great ass shoe and what sean's coming out oh, if these air max ones end up happening and it's the tearaway ones oh my god the way ones oh my god they're gonna be absolutely insane and i will need those a 1100 percent next to move on to at number five is a nike off-white air force one all black color now these just released they were going for 400 then they skyrocketed up a bit because of virgil posted them on a story or some shit that's what everyone was saying i think they went up because new year's after new years a lot of items spiked up especially thank goodness for me because i've been holding a lot of my shit but anyways the nike af1 is an all classic shoe especially for i'm from jersey new york area everyone be rocking them if you don't have them then what are you doing with your life but honestly i need this all black colorway as i said before black goes with everything it's off white the hype beast the little hype beast to me just wants them so bad i'm i'm still debating on whether i'm going to spend that 500 dollars on these sneaker because i did not luck out on the retail side of them so i might end up having to pay resale but you know time will tell on that the next one we want to add number four is the nike air jordan one Union collab. Now, this is not the blue toe. I'm not really a big fan of the blue toe. I like the black toe colorway. It's a clean ass shoe. It's honestly crazy where they're coming from. I unfortunately, I'm not able to touch one in hand, which is very sad for me because I cannot judge. Actually, all these sneakers, I, besides the Sean Witherspoons, I'm not able to touch in my hands. But anyways, the reason why they are on my list is because the fact it's just crazy colors. It was very unexpected, especially for me. I did not expect Union LA to come out with this type of stuff, and it was crazy. And they are actually pretty widely released. I am pissed I did not be able to cop because they've been restocking in Nike Town, Nike Lab, and LA. They were if you didn't cop in LA, I don't know what you were doing because I heard they were extremely easy to get. Not extremely easy, but they were somewhat easy to get because of all the places they were selling. Anyways, moving on to number three, we move on to the Nike Off White Jordan One EU exclusive. I'm almost. 100% sure these released in 2018. They might have actually been a 2017 shoe. I'm not exactly sure, but these are on my list because I am a huge fan of Jordan 1s, the all-way colorway. I used to be rocking Jordan 1 mid AF1s, 07s all-way. I used to be rocking those all through middle school, and then I got some all-white Jordan 1s as well, and then this off-white one just tops it on the cherry. I would need these of necessity. However, they're going for 2500 and you know your boy does not got that money. So, you know, I will not be dropping that much money on these sneakers. I wish I could cop them, because white goes with everything as well. White and black does go with a lot of stuff so it's a great color way to go for especially if a lot of sneakers that's why they're on my list it's because of the simple way they are able to be rocked number two move on to the nike fear of god 
light bone. Now this, I hope this is the right colorway because you know there's so many different colorways and there's so many different pictures. It's the light sail colorway, you know, it's simple. I, and I hope to one day actually put these on feet because I've heard a lot of different reviews about these sneakers. And I do actually want to put them on feet, see how they look on body because they're comparable to the Yeezy 700s. And I'm just psyched to see what they look like on feet. And especially for myself, they are still going for a very high amount of numbers. And actually, they are going to be restocking in different colorways. And I'm hoping Nike does not turn this into the Roshis, the Reacts, because what I've seen from the mock ups and from leaks and the samples that they just changed the cage into a different color like the salmon colorway then there's a green colorway and you know your boy is not rocking with those colorways so i hope they don't do that and make them oversaturated into the market and drum roll please ladies and gentlemen move on to the spot number one this is the air jordan one so fly our base of exclusive you know your boy had to put some exclusivity at the top now this is not the friends and family pair the friends and family pair was the green and black leather this one is the orange the miami universe miami colorway straight up the 305 reason why yeah i don't know bro they're just so sick and only i only know one person personally who actually ended up copying them and uh, he, he got him because of a plug, you know, that backdoor plug. Otherwise, it was a very crazy release. And honestly, the Art Basil shoes have been absolutely insane. I know last year they did the pink and blue ones. They're a must cop as well. Honestly, the Jordan ones, a lot of the Jordan ones from this year are something I need for myself. They are so sick, so clean. And I love the way they look on me on body. I shouldn't say from this year, actually. I say from 2018. Because I feel like 2019 is coming back with something crazy. Hopefully, Nike does not do that many Air Jordan ones because uh, they're becoming oversaturated in the market. I hope they uh, realize that because a lot of the mentality at Nike is not the greatest. But, anyways, that's it for your host of the most Tomboy Double O's top 10 Nike sneak releases of this year, of 2018, that I have not been able to purchase. Tomorrow, we're coming back with actual sneakers that I'll be able to touch tangibly in my hand for the top 10 that i've touched this whole year so anyways that's about it for me thank you guys for watching make sure to enter the giveaway down below before i can forget for this google home mini sorry if i didn't make that much sense today i am sick so i have to edit bit. editing is a bit whack i am sick and i'm probably going to be taking a nap so hope you guys enjoy thank you guys for watching peace